Maybe the test for the record, too. Mike, by Ace and Johnson Controls. Uh, the fuel pump savings, so there's a question of how are those derived? Well, when we look at something that we have to analyze, we do three things. First of all, we measure it. How do we measure, we analyze, and then we correct. At this point, measuring was how do we take care of the fuel on the front end. So the first thing was the actual fuel metering device in the new fuel pump is more accurate. We wanted to get human error out of it, hence it's the key card, self-recording. And also, we wanted to take out the factor of any um, recording errors, so it'll get dumped right in the system now. So now we know the, the measurement or the data on the front end is good. Then we analyze it. And what's the most important thing about to us for fuel is being able to analyze it. We want to know who fuels, how much fuel they're using, when are they fueling, what vehicles are fueling. Now you can compare what we have, let's say, seven departments. Four departments are using X amount of fuel. These departments are using more fuel. Now you can ask the question, why? And you can go down to, are our vehicles in good tune, or do we have vehicles that are using twice as much gas? Is our route for, let's say, garbage pickup effective? Are we efficient in how we're using our vehicles? Like, do we have vehicles that haven't fueled in three or four months? Well, that means maybe we have two vehicles and we need to use a cool approach. And the last thing we want to do, we want to correct. We want to get everybody involved in correct. Let's look at our fuel usage. How is our routing? Um, why are we routing in that way? Um, you know what we base, now we have historical data that says we're using this much fuel per month. You know what? We know fuel prices are going to go up. Now we have the strategic decision we can make on how to buy fuel. The city uses a significant amount of fuel, so you need a tool to significantly analyze that dollar amount and make a, an educated decision on it. We also want to have fueling be an efficient, easy, for people process, but we also want to secure process. And this is a great way to drive what we call uh, corrective behavior. So now, once something's measured, human nature says, I'm going to pay attention to it. So let's everybody have a thing. Can, do I really need to take a vehicle or can I walk? Can we put three people in a vehicle by just going by ourselves? So we want to have fuel usage, which is a, a big dollar amount, be a conscious thought on how we move people throughout the city and how the city does its functions. So we roughly said 5%, and we think that's extremely conservative. Depending on how far you drive that behavior, you can see 10, 15 percent of fuel savings, and that's a savings that goes right to the bottom line. So that's that's what was our thought process behind that. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Okay.